Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to talk about shear wall and why you might need that in your building and why some builders might price it into your building and the reason that is there. All right, so shear wall, what is shear wall? Shear wall is this right here. You see this OSB or plywood that's gonna be put on. It's gonna be put on a bay at your end wall typically. And so when I say bay, it's from this column to this column. Typically eight to nine feet gaps in that plywood is gonna be put across all of that bay, all the way up to the top, running down to the bottom. And the reason for that is if your building is extremely long compared to the width. So if you're typically double the length of your building, versus the width of your building, they're gonna probably need to push some shear wall in there. And that just buffs up the strength of your building from a wind load standpoint. So they're not trying to gouge or anything like that. It's really just to make sure your building is strong enough because when your building is twice or more than twice as long as the width. When that wind hits it, you can have some deflection going on there and it just can be a little more vulnerable to wind or other sorts of elements. So the shear wall just gives a little more rigidity. Sometimes you'll have it on one base, you can see here. Other times you might have it on two or three, just depending on what engineering calls out. So that's what shear wall is. If you see it in your contract or if you see it in a quote, shear wall is just plywood that's got to be installed to make your building a little bit more strong to handle more winds. For more information, feel free to subscribe, leave us a comment below if you have any other topics you want us to hit, and always remember to build with confidence for your future projects.